Yeah, still very young. So um, we'll see how he'll do these coming months and years. Okay, game one on Battlefield. Shuck going in for an aggressive grab and a neutral air pressure. Not going to work out against a seasoned Greninja matchup veteran like S1. Very yeah. good at recognizing when he can punish and when Ness, he cannot. Ness, what he does uh, at school is dissect frogs <laughs> in a uh, biology <laughs> class. Who is Lucas? So, right now, I see Shuck, Shuck short hopping a lot, um, which I generally don't think is an amazing idea against Ness. However, in this case, he's, he's holding his own. He's, he's doing pretty, pretty well thus far. Let's see if S1 can get a combo Ooh. going here. Catch the landing. Once Ooh. again, gives him an up air. Oh, boy. Shuck back into the corner, fights his way out. Ooh. And uh, one thing that you'll see S1 do a lot in uh, close quarter combats against uh, Greninja, Greninja really likes to uh, really likes to rely on his jab. Yes. Uh, and jab two is shield grabbable on reaction, pretty much. Okay. So um, and that's something you're gonna see S1 do constantly. Right now, Ness ahead, which is not a bad look for Greninja. However, gets a pretty pretty decent side yeah. D out there. Ooh. Keeps the pressure on. And what I'm most impressed um, with, by in, yeah. in S1's play is how well he uh, manages to recover every time without uh, the the use of his uh, the up use B, for his yeah. up B. Ooh, that's kill. Because most of the Ooh. time I think okay, he, he's uh, in the air for a long time, but still manages not. Um, Having to rely on Yeah, that double jump trajectory is really nice for Ness. Yeah, and yeah. Just like that, that air dodge for uh, S1 not working out. So these two practice uh, often as well? Uh, no, not that no? often. Nope, nope. Okay, it's all right. It's more me traveling to both of them. Ah, right, okay. So you're the uh, connecting factor yes. between yes. the two. <laughs> well, I mean, we do have our, uh, our Smash Fets in our region uh, mm -hmm. that they do both attend. Okay, okay. S1 trying to land, keeps getting juggled. And Shuck's number one priority here is racking that percent back up. Yeah. Without falling for those up airs and back throws. So right now, this is prime position for Ness to kill Greninja. Neutral air, Ooh, just like yeah. that. Very scary situation because you get, you get whipped up just a little bit, mm -hmm. and it feels like he has so much time to hit you because he kind of does, right? And then mm -hmm. you start to air dodge. Yeah. And the neutral airs come in. I think even more often than, um, yeah, off stage people do tend to rely on air dodges. Yeah, because you never you never land with your air dodge. Uh, if you fast fall it, you're just kind of safe most of the time. Yeah. But uh, most of the recoveries in Smash Four are somewhat abusable, including Greninjas. So air dodging low is surely going to get you pressured by S1. And we've already seen S1 go for those down smash two frames a few times. Haven't uh, hit it yet, but he's definitely looking. Ooh. Woo. Nice attempt. OK. Oh, goes extra deep. And that water squirt is going to give S1 all the stage back. And now Shuck is the one in a bad situation. Very nice angle on his up B right there, avoiding the two frame by the yo-yo. And the back throw. No, yeah? Ooh, barely, 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 yeah. So all the pretty rage. much as we predicted, a pretty solid victory by S1 yeah, right yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. But uh, S1 and Shuck locked, laughing it off right there. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, the, the, the kills were just um, respectable edge cards. It, it wasn't like uh, S1 was running a train on him. No, no, definitely. I think uh, Shock held his own, definitely. However, Ness, uh, when Ness gets the lead, it's just really tough to fight back. True. So we're getting ready for the second game right here. Picks yeah. and bends coming through. Uh, one that you obviously like to avoid against Greninja's final destination. Mm -hmm. uh, S1 
favors Town and City, so I'm not sure if he will ban it. He will probably, he's probably more likely to go for a Duck Hunt or a Lilith ban. Yeah, I was thinking uh, Duck Hunt uh, in favor of uh, Greninja as well. Yep. So uh, it's st uh, stage, stage pick is going to be Smash Hill. Which is a very uncharacteristic pick, because generally against Ness, you really want to avoid the stage. Um, not because he's especially amazing with the layout or anything, but every once in a while he will have that uh, forward air string until the platform and Kiwi at zero. And just denying even the possibility of that happening is a big deal against a character like Ness who likes to end stocks slowly. Forward air string, very nice. Oh, and Shuck wrecking up a lot of damage right there. Very nice confirmed by Shuck. Shuck is really uh, keeping the pressure on with those forts, uh, those up smashes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ooh, landing up air and Shuck pressing one button too many. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, he was looking. Smash charge yeah. vulnerability. Mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Looking oh. for a defensive option from. That uh, really has become the S1 special is um, as the opponent's coming back with invincibility, he tries to throw a side B on them. Even though they're invincible, it's still going to trigger, and the lasting hitbox is going to take away all of the ah, invincibility you have okay. left. Good to know. Yeah, it's really been working out for him this set as well. Down to getting under Ness's tiny little legs, and S1 messing up the down B reverse. However, Shuck's juggle is not working out. That was really weird. Did you see that? The down air kind of stalled there. I did not catch that. Okay, okay. Interesting. There is the correct down right. B reverse. However, the down tilt is going to stop the aerial attempt. That's one trying to find, out, find a way out of the corner. Gets it. And now Shuck is the one in the corner. And he's he's just looking to fight out. Gets tagged. Oh. Lots of damage coming out right here. And Yo. the up air Went. scooped. <laughs> and that is why we call that the aerial Mario up smash. <laughs> just so. that huge head coming out all the way from down below. Yeah, I can see that. And jab jab, fourth smash, gonna seal S1's first stock. And S1 staying calm, trying to hit, get that hit. However, gets the situation, his turn on his head. Does manage to push through though. Greninja punished on a power shield. Lots of speed coming out from Greninja. Yeah, and with, uh, with this big of lead, you can see S1 playing uh, a tad more aggressively, a tad more, uh, you know, in, in Chuck's face. Yep. He is, he's looking very, very confident yeah. right now. That very, very confident. That's the word. Ooh, falling up air. Very, very impressive. That hitbox is just so huge. And uh, I really do feel like Shuck has been throwing out too many hitboxes yeah. on S1's landing. Even he's though he does have hitboxes that do catch the landing, the disjoints. However, he's not really relying on those. And a forward air, uh, I mean a forward tilt against Man. a hitbox like Ness's up air is not going to cut it. And just like that, yeah, at 69%. That last stock went by super quickly. Yeah.